Alrighty friends, here we go. Took those three pieces, split them all in half. I got them book matched, and I'm picking the best between them. You can see here, going through the planer, it's got a big chip out, so that one's off to the side, which is exactly why you always want to cut more than you need, because now I've got these two nice pieces, they're going to be book matched, making the picture frame. Wish me luck. Alrighty, here we go. We got the mounting grooves <coughs> routed out. Uh, Switch the bit over. This is going to be the, uh, the decoration bit for the outside. But first what I want to do is get the 45, deg 45 degrees cut. I got the uh, miter saw over there. Get those cut, get everything stapled together, and then I can run the, uh, the frame around the outside with the uh, decoration bit. And then all I got to do is route out some spots for the clips, and we're good to go. So, wish me luck. By the way, guys, real easy way to get uh, matching angles is if you can see just down the seam there, well, maybe you can't see it, I've got some painter's tape with uh, super glue holding the boards together. So that'll get the angles, and then all you gotta do is just pull the tape off and flip them over, and they're good to go. So, uh, yeah, if you guys ever need to do something like that, there you go. Here we go, friends. Got all the 45s cut. Now it's just a matter of getting them glued up, stapled, get everything dried, and then uh, using the decoration bit, slowly working up to the depth, and she'll be good to go. Wish me luck. Well, guys, I am happy to report that I am the big dumb, because as you can see, I stapled on the back, but I didn't do it inside the cutout, and now... So, gonna have to rip everything apart, and I think what I'll try doing is putting little slot pieces in there to hold everything flush. And we'll see how that turns out, so wish me luck! Hey guys, quick update. So this corner is actually holding together pretty strong, so I don't know, I guess I just did a lot better job on that one. Ah, ah, no. So went around, I got these these joints all cleaned up. They used to be like patchy super glue and whatnot. Got those cleaned up. I think what I'll do, rather than put slots in the side, is I'll get little uh, I'll get little stainless steel pins and put inside and then whoosh, stick them together that way. Like, kind of similar to how I do my knife handles, but uh, I think that's going to look pretty cool. So I guess we'll see what it looks like. And we have locator pins in the three corners that didn't have them. All I gotta do now is throw some glue on them, clamp them overnight, and tomorrow she'll be good to go. Oh yeah. let it sit for a few minutes what we got to do is buff it out so follow along with me and we will buff it out it's just a matter of wiping off any finish that's on there so that leaves everything that's soaked in and then that will it's boiled linseed oil by the way that will uh, we call it polymerize polymerize I think I think that's the word for it it actually turns into a, uh, a type of, I guess, kind of natural plastic, which is one of the best parts about uh, boiled linseed oil, is that it's, uh, you know, the natural finish that provides waterproofness, water, waterproofity, waterproofity, something like that. I don't know. Anyways, just gotta buff it out. <clears throat> Follow along. While I'm here, I figured I'd show you guys the, uh, the router bits that I did. And that just puts the uh, puts a spot for the little clips to go into, and then obviously that's where you you hang it on a screw in the wall. But uh, yeah, wasn't wasn't anything too hard. You just you know, quick little router bit and zip, stick it in there, drill a hole, ready for the screws. Anyways, <clears throat> now that we've got this all buffed off, it's uh, it's looking pretty good. But we need to let it sit and cure or oxidize for a while, and then she'll be good to go. It's looking pretty good so far. What do you guys think of it so far? 
Let me know down in the comments. Oop, the paper towel left up here. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I'll put it up on some on some stilts or whatever, and then uh, she'll cure. Let me know what you think. I'm going to upload this now uh, because the boiled linseed oil needs seven days to cure properly, and I don't want to make you guys wait that long. So I'm just going to upload this, and then I'll do a short on it when it's finished. So uh, yeah, good luck with whatever you're working on, and I'll talk to you guys later.